Hi, Mr. Ferris here. I joined a uh, Christmas card swap over at Junk Journal Junkies, etc. And um, this is my Junk Journal swap for my partner. Um, we had to have at least eight uh, Christmas cards, and I think I, I surpassed 15 somewhere along the line. Um, it's quite stuffed, it is only one signature. Um, uh, I found this a uh, Christmas card in my stash. Uh, I liked it, so I wanted to use it as the cover. I had to cut it down a little because it was kind of big. It's still big. Um, it says, you're a wonderful mother because you care so very much. Well, I decided to let that kind of dictate how my uh, journal would turn out, so I, I tried to focus a little bit more on, on the home in this Anyway, I put vinyl on the back and over the spine to reinforce. I've used yarn to tie the signatures in. And I've made a little belt out of vinyl to hold this thing closed. So, uh, here we go. I reinforced the cover because I didn't want this embossing to uh, flatten out. So I went ahead and put extra cardstock there. Um, I put a little picture here that can be removed if, if uh, somebody doesn't doesn't like this photo. It's just washi taped in place. And I uh, put a pocket here. Someone gifted me this piece and I liked it so I put it there. And this was a, uh, it actually was a set of stickers. But when I tried to peel them off, they uh, wouldn't come free from the backing, so I just photocopied it and put it there. So, and I like it. I think it looks good. And this was the actual interior of the card. You know, it says a mother makes a house a home. She's gifted in the art of showing um, through the things that she does the love that's in her heart and blah blah blah. So I I wanted to kind of focus, continue focusing on families, but I've got a little. Um, ornament here and um, a little um, paper clip with a snowflake. This is a page from a calendar. Um, I'm trying to think of the artist, the painter of light. Anyway, it's a page from his calendar. And so I painted the back red to obliterate the calendar boxes and I glued this stuff down instead. This is part of a an envelope that I've made this pocket out of and I've used this Christmas card as the naughty list <clears throat> and that's a little pocket in there to put things in. Um, when I make a envelope into a pocket I don't glue it all the way to the edge down I leave it the, the glue uh, away from the, the edge so that the pocket can accordion and you can put more things inside. It, it gives it more space. So I made the little Christmas tree like a little kid had done it. This is uh, a placemat that was given, um, it was part of a dinner that I had gone to. Little kids had put their hands on the placemat and made these little um, snowmen. So I thought it was fun, so I put it in here. I taped to the back a little wish list. I covered up the advertising here with a little pocket. And um, this is the wish list for the woman. I made uh, uh, male and female pockets out of uh, this that packaging material that you get in a box. They, they uh, crumple it all up and stick it in the box to keep things from moving around when you're getting something. Well that's what this is made of, is that that material. So I've opened it up. I didn't realize it was so close to the uh, center of the signature, so the lace kind of folds up there. Anyway, it's supposed to look like a little dress or blouse. And I put a card in here that I had in my stash. This is not Christmas, but I really liked it, so I thought I'd put it in anyways. And this is uh, from 1973. I decided to go ahead and leave, you know, the salutations, that sort of thing inside these things because it's fun. It's fun to read the, that kind of thing. So 
this is her wish list, I guess. And this is, you know, her cards or whatever. And then there's a place to write on the back, because this, this is kind of flimsy uh, brown paper, so I wanted to add a little structure to it and give it a place to write. And this is a uh, Christmas page for ambiance, and uh, I liked it. This was my Christmas card a uh, year or so ago. Uh, it's just printed on a, a sheet of paper, and so I found another Christmas card that I put in behind. This uh, plastic is what you get uh, cards in, so you'll have the, the stationery on one side and the envelopes on another, or the cards on one side, envelopes on the other, and that's what I'm using here to hold this stuff. This is a piece of vintage sheet music, and a little card of a, a mother and child. This is a tuck spot under the holy night, and uh, Christmas bells. This is a picture of the, you know, home. Well, actually, uh, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it's not exactly a home. You get the idea. More Christmas music. Doily. Pattern paper. And I went ahead and made a little pocket on this side, and I just put another piece of a Christmas card for to write on. And this is an ornament from 20... 15 sent to me, but it, it, you can pop it out and use it on the tree or in the book, doesn't matter. I have sprayed a little bit of sp uh, shimmer on a few things, although you probably can't see it. This is the center of the signature, and I have this picture of a family, or a uh, man and woman, rather, in a sleigh with a horse. And then I have put this paper bag in the center, and it has the little horse hoof prints there. This is a tuck. Little jingle bell. And it's obviously a paper bag. I haven't said that twice already. So there's a tuck spot there. And in here, um, I put some fun things. Just a napkin so they can use it in the, in the book. And this was uh, uh, napkin rings. Cut out napkin rings. So I thought, oh, that's fun. I'll put that in there. This is Merry Christmas. This was a card. This is also a pocket. And just another piece of a card for a uh, something to write on. Open says me. Thank you. And I did the ink of gold around this. There is a shimmer on here, but you probably can't see it. And this is just a piece of paper that I've made into a little, sort of like a little card, I guess. I just left these. Yeah, they can be covered up by the uh, recipient. And you can read about uh, uh, somebody's hospitalization and thyroid operation. <laughs> chronic bronchitis and stuff. I thought it was fun to see what was going on in somebody's life back then. It's the other side of that plastic. So I just made a little booklet out of it with some lined paper. <coughs> side of the magazine. This is the back side of the man's side of this journal. So this is his shirt and tie and little uh, collar there. This is the Polar Express, two tickets to the Polar Express. Go in there. And I put a couple of cards in here that I thought were, were nice for the holiday. And they have writing in them. I, I don't care. I think it's still fun. They can be cut apart by the uh, person who receives this to do more art in here. They don't have to leave them whole. This is his wish list. It's just an empty piece of paper that I've made into an envelope. It goes behind there. And um, the other hand of snowmen. This is the uh, the nice list out of a long card.
And it says, thank you, Mother, for your many ways of caring. Merry Christmas. On the back. And made by me. And this is the cookbook. <laughs> Has to have a cookbook. It's two cards that I have um, glued back to back. This is the house outside. This is the house inside. So, I open it, I open it, and I cut it short so that I could make a pocket between the two backs of the cards. And I put a little paper there. And these are recipe cards. They're just blank. Flip it over and open up the house. And here's the party. Talks about the spirit of Christmas. And someone had gifted me this uh, page with pies. And I thought, oh, that's good. Pumpkin cheese pie, pecan pie, rhubarb crust, a custard pie, etc. And I liked the, the brown envelope, so I thought I'd put it in here as an organizer for recipes. This is uh, Sticky Buns from uh, Martha Stewart magazine. And then empty cards. And you can write what's supposed to be in there. I left the strings so someone can do a little artwork from the strings. And this is how to make your Thanksgiving turkey, I think. No reason you can't use that for Christmas. And uh, that's from Martha Stewart as well. Lemon meringue pie, etc., etc., and I put a little card here. Uh, time for a cup of tea. I figure you're going to need a break when you're cooking. So I have found this little note paper that goes on the back. It has a little teacups on it. There. Put that in there. And then this is kind of a little organizer se section. So there's some little cards here. And this is special days. There was a s bad smudge here, so I was covered up with pumpkins, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> this is a... Here, I'll open it. This is card sent, and this was an envelope that I took the um, flap off, and I reversed it and put it on the front of the envelope. So it actually has the... It was addressed to me. And on the back is a pocket, if I can get my hand in there. I put a little piece of paper in there. So, and I put my family sugar cookie recipe in here. It says, from Leisures. I hope you can see all that. So, that's that. Let me assemble this later. That's my share. I hope you enjoyed it.